Grace, peace, and mercy be unto you. From God, our Father, and Lord Jesus Christ, my name is Pastor Amanda Renan to my left. Minister Keith Doggett. Amen. Happy Friday, everybody. Yes. Amen. Yes. Press like and share, yes. subscribe yes. to uh, Life in the Word or go to Manzai Worldwide Ministries yes. and uh, subscribe to that too. Amen. Praise yes. God. Happy Friday, everybody. Yes. We're going to talk about today, stop arguing. Stop arguing. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Here begin the reading of God's holy yes. word. But there, brothers... I beg you in the name of, our, of, of the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. to stop arguing among yourselves. Amen. Amen. You know, there, there seems to be a lot of that in the church. Christians are arguing for no um, common reason. Mm -hmm. uh, stupid little things are arguing, fighting. For what? Makes no sense. But the Bible, Paul said, let there be real harmony. Let there be what? togetherness, harmony is togetherness, mm -hmm. harmony is unity, mm -hmm. family, community, and all these things are very important to the household of God Amen. so that there won't be splits in the church. Mm -hmm. That's why splits come from mm -hmm. when people begin to argue and people begin to do all these things, mm -hmm. gossiping. Mm -hmm. um, he said, I plead with you to be of one mind. And that's hard to do because a lot of now these days in church, people come to church with their own agenda. People come to the church for their own reasons. They do things what they do, not because, okay, we're going to follow what God wants us to do. Right. We're going to follow what our leaders want us to do. Mm -hmm. Usually when you so see arguments is when people want things to be done their way mm -hmm. instead of the way that God or the leadership of the church wants them to be. Right. Some people think need, some things need to be run the way they think. And the minute... It's not run the way they think. They they get angry, they get upset, they begin to talk, they begin to argue, they begin to be upset, and then eventually gossip and eventually causes splits mm -hmm. because they because they won't go by themselves. They gotta get a couple other people mm -hmm. and cause a split and cause division in the church. Because now we gotta be united with under the same umbrella as God. We gotta be um, uh, uh, um, united under mm -hmm. our leadership. Yes, our pastors and our leaders, yes, amen? amen, and come come in as help. Because why am I saying that? Secularism have crept into the church, mm -hmm. where people look at the church as the stepping stone for me to be successful, yeah. the stepping stone for me to be famous, yes. the stepping stone for me to be great, just mm -hmm. like the world. They, they use opportunities for me to be a certain way. Yes. So now I want to show um, what I have. I want to show what I can do. I want to show off. Instead of me coming under Come in unity Come and in peace yeah. to do the will of God, mm -hmm. I want to show off my gifts. I want to show off my ability. So therefore, there's going to be arguing. Yes. Because just like the disciples after a while begin to argue, who's the greatest among us? Who's the best? And and, 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 and and they missed the point. And Jesus had to really fix it yes. for them to understand that it's not about that. It's about what we, we call here to do, the will of God. Right. God will give us a blueprint. God has already given us a charter. You can't come up in here and have your own agenda. I think you guys should be doing this. I think you guys should be doing that. This church needs to be doing What, do I come in your house and tell you how you should do things? Do I come in your house and tell you how you should cook chicken? Mm -hmm. Do I come in your house and tell you how you make your rice and peas? Mm -hmm. Do I come in your house and tell you how to dress? No. That's you. Right. Nothing to do with me. Right. So we have to come in in harmony. And harmony means that I'm coming under whatever that yes. is being done. Mm -hmm. I come in and help. Mm -hmm. We got to have the spirit of a servant in this season. So that, because if we don't have a spirit of a servant, we can't really walk in harmony towards the Lord and do the things that he called us to do. That's right. So, and we can't walk in harmony unless we have a unity of mind. Yes. And we all come to push, you know, back home, I remember when a car um, is, is, is not working, not starting, mm -hmm. we used to push it. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened if somebody pushing the car to the back 
and somebody pushing the ball to the front. There's no movement because we're going in the wrong direction. Right. Right. That's 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 not harmony. That's not unity. We gotta fix yeah. things that's causing disunity real quick in the church. That's right. We gotta fix things that's causing division. Yes. We gotta co- uh, fix things that's causing yes. a split. Yes. Right away. Let's check it. Let's check it and fix it and go back to harmony. Yes. And go back to oneness. Amen. Amen. And not only of one mind, mm-hmm. but also we gotta be united in thought. Yeah. Right? And purpose. In purpose, yes. for some of those who live at Chloe House mm-hmm. have told me of your arguments and quarrels. Mm-hmm. It gotten so bad in the church house that people begin to say, oh man, oh, Paul, they out here fighting, man. They're how you're arguing because why? This, this unity, right. this unity quarrels always come mm-hmm. when two people want to do two different things right. in a place. Yes. 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 That's disharmony. That's right. You say go left, I say go right, you see? Ain't gonna work. They got to be harmony. They got um, oneness. So Paul got the gossip. Somebody came and told Paul, oh, they out here arguing at Chloe's house. I have told me of your arguments and quarrels, their brothers. Some of you are saying, and what is the arguments? And this is the same argument that's happening now. It's happening in the church. Mm -hmm. It's happening. He said, some of you are saying, I'm a follower of Paul. Okay. And others say they are for, for Apollos. Yeah. You know, preacher, your favorite preacher by yeah. now. Oh, I like T.D. Jakes. I like Noel Jones. I like um, uh, Pastor Allen. I like um, this other pastor. I like this. Per- and and Paul, Paul began to put things in check mm-hmm. because he's saying, you know, and so in effect you have broken Christ into many pieces. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. But did I, Paul, die for your sins? Mm-hmm. Did T.D. Jakes or any of these other pastors you're fighting about, who's the best, who's the greatest, mm-hmm. let me leave my church and go see them? Did they die for you? Mm-hmm. You hate your pastor. You can't even enjoy your pastor because you want to be a T.D. Jakes church. Like he died for you. Right. You want to be at this other pastor mm-hmm. church. Oh, they got a mega church. Let me go over there. Well, let me give you a report. Mega churches are closing. And more will close as time goes along. That's it. That's it. That's it. For now, he said, I'm so thankful now I didn't baptize any of you except for Crispus and Gaius. For now, no one can think that I have been trying to start something new. Right. Beginning beginning a church of Paul. Isn't it about Paul? Mm-hmm. It's not about these men. It's not about these pastors. Mm-hmm. We have forgotten the mm-hmm. purpose of the church. Mm-hmm. We have forgotten what the church is all about. Right. This is no church of Emmanuel Rene. This is the church of God. Right. When you come in, you come in to serve God. Yes. If you give, you're giving for God. Yes. If you serve, you're serving God. Yes. So don't make it about a man like we're doing right now. This is the generation that's making it about people. And we've forgotten is that's Christ. Right. That's right. And that's why we are weak. That's why the world come in. That's why the world is causing division in the church. That's why there's splits in the church. Because you know why? We're fighting over man. It's a fighting over. It's Jesus is the reason. It's Jesus the cause. Now, he said, For Christ didn't send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel. And even my preaching sounds poor. For I do not fill my sermon with profound words and high-sounding ideas. For fear of diluting the mighty power of God. So this is what this is what's happening now. There's a lot of philosophy. People are trying to sound great, saying great words. Everybody. Mm. So Paul is saying, look, I'm not trying to be deep unless my deepness dilute the written word. I gotta make sure that it don't take away the value. Of the word of God. So you're saying this is what division and splits will make. Yes. We're making it about men. We're making it about this. And we and we forget the, to view Jesus Christ. And we forget to see the purpose of God. That's why when we when we begin to argue, mm-hmm. we lose the focus of really who is really yes. all about. Yes. Yes. 
when we begin to talk about who's greater than this, Mr. Yeah. Keith, yeah. Mr. Carla, this one, that one. Well, I only come preach because when, only when pastor is preaching. Mm -hmm. But if pastor is not preaching, mm -hmm. I'm not coming to anybody else because nobody got the word. See, you're deceived. Yeah. You're causing splits. You're causing division. Yes. And this is why Paul's saying, did I die for you? Did I shed my blood for you? Yeah. 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 It's, real. it's real. Or did we read in the previous verses mm -hmm. that God will empower certain people to do his will yes. and give them understanding? Mm -hmm. Yes. There's many people that God can use to bring forth the word. Mm -hmm. Don't make them superstars. Yeah. The world is always looking for make a man superstar. Yes. We've got to see Jesus. Mm -hmm. we, we, we begin to put a man in the pedestal until God not come down. Oh, oh, he on fire for the Lord. Oh, look at him. Oh, this pastor is, oh, did you hear what this pastor, that's what we do. It's not about this pastor's or his word or how he said it or the way he said it or to make you a view that he's holy, he's righteous. Right, right. It's not about all the things. It's about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Stop making about people and right. make it about Christ. Yes. Make it about his will. Make it about his way. Yes. Make it about his purpose. It's all about him. Right. Stop putting people up and having all these arguments yes, yes. that cause splits, that cause division, yes. that cause all these things in us. Mm -hmm. It's about Jesus Christ died and be glorified. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's it's right. about him and him yes. alone. Only he can save. Yes, Only he died for our sins. Yes, on. Only he can deliver us. Yes, sir. Only he can bring us holy before the Father yes, sinless. Come on. Come on. Only he can do all those things. Right. So let's not, not look at man because we're always looking at a Johnny come lately. We're always looking at somebody we can put up to represent mm -hmm. an idea of holiness and righteousness. Yes, yes. And then when God exposes them and God says, oh no, I'm going to tell you that. No matter how much this person speaks, no matter how much this person moves, no matter how much they, 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 they have deep words, I'm going to let you know that there's no one like me. And, he, and that's a man. And every, you know, all have sin comes to show glory to God. Right. I'm going to let you know that it's a person that I'm covering. Mm -hmm. When I uncover him, I'm going to show you how dirty he is without me covering him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, Jesus. My greatest fear is, is, is people begin to think I'm the latest thing. I'm the voice of God. I'm the voice of holiness. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not. I, I'm, I, I'm an echo. John said I'm an echo, you know, in the wilderness. Shouting the name of the Lord. It ain't about me. It's about Him. It's about His goodness. It's about His mercy. Yes, sir. And it's about me knowing what I'm called to do. I'm not here in competition with no man. I'm not here. Look, I don't want to be famous. I don't want to be great. I don't want people to call my name. I don't want to. Those, those are things the world is looking for. Yes. You know, Paul even talked about if we even argue about these things, who's who, who belongs to who, he said, are we not yet carnal? Mm -hmm. Are we not yet a meathead? Mm -hmm. wow. Wow. Mm. I know very well how foolish it sounds to those who are lost mm -hmm. when they hear that Jesus died to save them. It looks foolish. Mm -hmm. We look dumb when people talk about, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, please, they don't want that. No. When they hear that Jesus died to save them. Mm -hmm. But we who are saved recognize this message as the very power of God. Right? It is what? The gospel is the very power of God. Mm -hmm. That's why we save us. The, 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 how I'm going to get healed mm -hmm. to the word. How I'm going to get delivered to the word is about the word of God. It's about Christ. It's about him and him alone. Amen. Amen. So let's not argue about who's the greatest. Yeah. Um, who, which, which church I go, which church I don't go. Mm -hmm. How big is my church? What's my title in the church? Mm -hmm. It's about Jesus Christ. That's right. Let's stop all this argument. That's right. That's right. Let's stop. Let's, let's stop looking at the Johnny come lately. Yes. But let's look at Jesus, mm -hmm. the Son of God, which is who is the Son of the world. He's the only one we should be glorifying. He's the only one we should praise and worship. Amen. Yes, for, who, for who and what he is. I pray this word bless you and strengthen yes, you yes, this mo um, today, this morning. And I pray that those who don't know Jesus, and I'm going to do a prayer for you. 
that you may come to know Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior of your life. No man can save you. No man can bring you to eternal life but Jesus Christ. But repeat after me, Jesus. You said in your word, if I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart, the Lord Jesus, I shall be saved. I've confessed with my mouth and believe in my heart, the Lord Jesus. So therefore, God, I'm saved. Thank you, God, for saving me and filling me with the Holy Spirit. After that, find a good church home to teach you the word of God and how to live. Live the word, not just hear it, but live out the word with your life. Amen. Live out the word with your life. Um, um, find a good church home. If you can't find one, you can always come here to my Zion Worldwide Ministry, 133. That's 15 Rockaway Boulevard. We have yes. services on Sundays at 8 a.m. This the discipleship class service start at 10 a.m. We have Monday night Bible study, and we also have um, Tuesdays leadership and everything like that. And also, if you want the Word of God on mobile and you'll be able to hear the Word in your job on your way to work, yes. you can tune to go on YouTube mm -hmm. and press Monday night Worldwide Ministries. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to that. There's a there's over two thousand sermon or more. Yes. That's for free. That you can grow your yes. spiritual yes. life. There's all kinds. There's voice of the prophet. There's life in the word. There's uh, singles. There's youth. Mm -hmm. So there's so much word that we have. Use it. It's for free. Amen. It's yes. for free. Go into my time with our ministry, yes. and press subscribe to it, and hear the word of God, so you can grow spiritually. Amen. Amen. Again. Uh, get to work safe. My yes. name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. I have to my left. Minister Keith Doggett. We have one thing to say to you. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. And if you're going to give today, you can give at um, Dallas sign email Renee 50. Yes. Whatever God put in your heart, you can bless with it so we can finish the work of the ministry. God bless you. Yes. Have a blessed weekend. Prayerfully, I see you in church this week. God bless you. God bless you.